Wizards, Wizards, Witches, and Muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today, we are going to be doing another Accio unboxing. That's right, the Accio box from September is here. It always takes a little bit of time to get to me because they, they're they from the USA and the owls have to fly quite far. Now, this video is sponsored by Accio and that means that I have a discount code for you guys, which is Magical Family. This means that you guys get a little bit of money off and it means that I make a little bit of money to help keep this channel running. I'm really excited about this box, so let's go. If you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button and if lights can part of our weird magical online family made it a bit weird at the end tonight anyway let's see what's inside <laughs> okay then so even though you're watching this in october it's not a halloween box i don't think i actually have no clue what this uh theme is again but here we go we've got black tissue paper See if there's any whew, a sneaky cheek, a sneaky, a cheeky. Wow, <laughs> a sneaky cheek pig, pee cheeky sneaky pig. What wow. words? <laughs> oh my god! You know what I meant. So let's have a look at what is on top. We have a Marauders map themed product. This looks like a pencil case or some sort of travel bag. It's made out of canvas and it's got some nice quality print on there. To be fair, uh, so it says Messrs. Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot, and Prongs really nice it's got a little black zip these things are really useful i do like a practical product uh, i also really like the color theme of this it's neutral it's not too out there it's something that i definitely would use so that's a good start to the box i think i really like that i don't know what print they've used but it looks and feels like really thick <laughs> so there we have it a little zipper so hmm is it gonna be Marauders themed? I don't know. Let's have a look. Okay, so the only thing that's making me think that this isn't Marauders themed, ooh, there's quite a few things in this month, so I think there's like six items in this one, is that there is a, a candle in here, and it's Luna's Room. Let me just... Smells nice. So, Luna's Room, cotton candy, and watermelon, and it's a natural soy candle from Highland Bluff Studio. It just looks like that. It's in this metal tin. And it does indeed smell like watermelon and cotton candy. I could imagine Luna's room to smell like this. They're really good with their scents. I remember they did um, something serious related and it smelt like spot on. It's very nice. I'm really, really into my candles at the moment. So I'm actually really excited about this one. It's not very visually Luna, but the smell is there and I guess that's one of the more important things that you want from a candle is to make your environment smell delicious and that really does. I want to know what is in here. We have got a hip flask. Now we have seen hip flasks in subscription boxes before. I'm personally not the biggest fan of having a hip flask in a magical crate just because there's a lot of young wizards and witches that are probably going to be subscribed to these. I'm not sure it's the most appropriate thing to put in a subscription box but as an adult I don't mind but as a bigger picture there's just something that comes across my mind. So this says constant vigilance on the front and it is indeed just a hip flask which opens like so so you can keep your cheeky liqueur in there i don't know what i was get. i don't use hip flasks so i'm probably going to give this away to somebody or to charity but yeah if you're into your hip flasks it's quite a nice one it is made out of stainless steel and you can fit five ounces of whatever potion you desire in there so a little hip flask Okay, so we have got left something in a mysterious box, but I've also just spotted a t-shirt of some kind, which I'm going to get out next. Oh, I'm obsessed with this. I saw it on Instagram. I did see this. I didn't know it was in this box, but I saw it. I was like, I really want it. It's a purple t-shirt that is... Um, it's a staff t-shirt for Weasley's Wizards Wheezies. And on the back, it says, ask me about... Uh, wildfire whiz bangs virtually unstoppable on the back 
I love this. I love things where I can imagine that I'm a part of it. So yeah, big, big fan of this. This is probably one of my favourite t-shirts that we've had from Akio since the Weird Sisters tour top, which I wear all the time. But this is so cool. I really do like that a lot. I lied, there is another item, which I believe we've had before. This might be like a nostalgia box, something that they're bringing back, like they're bringing back past faves. I don't know, we'll have to have a look at the cheat sheet. Okay, so... This is a Support Cedric, the Real Champion, and a Potter Stinks badge. This is like really odd. It's like a foam badge. So I actually have the one here that I believe also came from an Accio box, but this is like a solid badge. But they're pretty similar. They are the same, just this is a little bit smaller, I think, and a squishy. I've never felt a squishy badge before. I mean, it's nicely made, it's very nicely made, but I thought it was worth noting that they are different from the, the original one, which I did do think came from an Akia box. But either way, very cool. They can both go and live on my Quidditch shelf. This might not be Akio, by the way. I open a lot of boxes, so my brain might be failing me. Just put that out there in case I am wrong. But I think I am right, but either way. So that leaves us with a mystery box and you guys know what to say what do i say usually good things come in small boxes so let's open it on up oh it's a glass i'm very fortunate that the owl didn't drop this box oh this is gorgeous it's like a whiskey glass or it's just a little glass really you can drink anything out of it and it's got the dark mark on it I love this. This is such a strong box from Accio. Like, I've really enjoyed this box. Like, look at that. It's like really subtle, but really beautiful. I love the shape of this glass as well. Really nice to hold. I actually really, really love that. I am obsessed. Okay. I have really enjoyed this box. Let's get to the cheat sheet. I need to know what the theme was. We're turning back time. Okay, three years should do it. This month's box is a special throwback theme. Okay, I definitely read about this on Instagram. Featuring six past favourites that you voted on. These are some of our most popular items. That's why it was such a strong box. Um, going all the way back to 2017, we opened up votes on our social media platforms to allow our subscribers to choose what we'd bring back. And we're so excited to see these awesome items returning this month. We hope you love this box of classic Akio magic. So all of these things I've never seen before. I wasn't subscribed to Akio until I think about a year or so ago. Um, so all of these are new items to me. So they're still very exciting. So yeah, let's talk about it. We've got the Joke Shop Staff Tea, which I'm a big, big fan of. I really like that and I'm definitely gonna wear it a lot. So it says, this fun exclusive tea design is inspired by the staff robes worn by employees at the famous magic joke shop featuring a shop logo on the front and an ad for one of the twins's most famous products on the back this soft 100% cotton tea is a sure to win uh wow words it's sure to win you lots of smiles from fellow fans this shirt was first seen in august of 2018 and that has a value of 25 dollars okay so we've then got the marauders pouch which is here so it says keep your quills and other writing utensils or Organized in this little pouch so you always have something at the ready when you need to jot down a reminder or a quick note. Designed in-house just for Accio for our January 2019 box. Very nice, very nice indeed. That had a value of $6. Maybe my favourite thing in the box is this little tumbler. It's apparently a wine glass. I don't drink wine. It's, it's a glass for whatever potion you want to put in it, I guess. So it's the stemless wine glass, dark magic. Unwind with a little wine or just make your morning OJ feel extra fancy as you sip from this stemless goblet that first debuted in our first special edition Halloween box in 2017. I love it. I really love this. I wish I had an entire set of these. Uh, even though I'm not a Death Eater, I still just really like them. I really, really do like that. This has a value of $10. I mean, if they're selling these individually anywhere. <laughs> wouldn't mind purchasing. Okay, so next up is the Potter Stinks 
button. This is a lenticular button badge and this has a value of $5. It says support Cedric, the real champion with this clever badge that really changes from one phrase to the next. We couldn't use actual magic. Statue to secrecy and all that. So these badges are made possible by 3D lenticular printing technology and these were originally designed for our June 2019 box which there you have it. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure that this is the one. Next up, we then have the candle, which is Luna's Room Scented Candle by Highland Bluff Studio. We've yet to find a candle by Highland Bluff that we don't love, but this scent is a particular favourite for both Accio staff and our subscribers. It really does smell divine. And I'm not a big watermelon fan, so the fact that I like that is quite impressive and just shows that they're really good. This natural soy wax candle fills a room with that sweet combo of watermelon and cotton candy in minutes. Originally featured in our March 2018 box, find more at highlandbluffstudio.com. All of the artists in Accio unboxings, I always link their shops in the description, so definitely go check them out. And last but certainly not least is the Constant Vigilance Stainless Steel Hip Flask. Take a leaf out of our favourite auras book and stash your beverage of choice in this exclusive hip flask perfect for taking your pumpkin juice on the go originally designed for our september 2017 box we think moody would approve and if drinking from a flask seems a little too extra for you it also makes a great piece of nerdy shelf decor and that's valued at ten dollars overall i think this has been a super strong box which is expected when they are choosing all of their past faves to put in one box i think that's a really smart idea especially if you've not been subscribed to Accio for long because it means that they won't be repeat items for me I only had one repeat item which was the button badge even though it is a little bit different I think my favorites honestly I've got three favorites this time and it is the t-shirt Accio do end up having some really good t-shirts in their boxes and they sometimes do end up being my favorites so yeah the t-shirt the little wine glass or tumbler and I really do like the scent of the candle. Overall, I've, yeah, this has been a super strong box from Accio uh, for me personally. Obviously, it all comes down to personal preference, but for me, it's been one of their strongest ones in a while and has given me that magical feeling, so I really enjoyed it. And of course, let me know your thoughts down below in a comment. I would love to hear them. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, did I already tell them to thumb it up? Oh God, did I? If I did, thumb it up twice! <laughs> Don't do that, once is enough. Um, <laughs> my brain's just, just blanked. Um, and on that note, it's time to stop filming this video. But uh, let me know what your favourite, or least favourite item is down below. I'll be sure to reply to some of you guys down there. Um, so keep your eyes peeled. Um, good. Magic. Magic. Um, okay, I am actually gonna go now. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you soon. Jazz hands. I don't even know anymore.